be treated. So, you know, for the, I mean, do I? Of course I do. Um, I'm, I have a lot of connections on social media. So altogether is probably more than 50,000. So when you, you take that type of following and, um, you know, I tend to get a lot of messages and I actually can't open most of them. And I do feel bad. And I actually have the hugest heart and I want to reach out to everyone. But uh, physically, um, I have a hard time answering a lot of messages and things like this. But, you know, as of, uh, I really keep to myself. Um, I concentrate on work, and I don't get caught up in a lot of, uh, you know, giving people opportunities to be hitting on me all the time. <laughs> but if you want so. to, uh, <laughs> folks out there, you can just go to Twitter and go to <laughs> Tiffany Brown at Match. In affinity, you know, so you can always follow Tiffany well, and see know, what's going on. Birds of a feather, we flock together, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You know, yeah. I looked at some statistics today, and there's some really mm-hmm. interesting ones out there. And, you know, I I never really looked at, like, dating statistics, to be honest with you, because, you know, and you just if you're going to date, you just go out there and do it or whatever. But I didn't know this. 44% of adult Americans are single. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. That's like almost half. Yeah, a uh, hundred million in the states alone. Wow. Um, the United States actually beats out um, the world for singles, even over China, over India. And it's what do you United think that is? You know, people are busy. I think it's because more and more these days, uh, folks are focused on business, they're focused on work, they're focused on, uh, you know, if they have children, all these things, and uh, a lot of people try really hard. I mean, and and people aren't as willing, like, they're not as open-minded as well. You know, so a lot of people are, you know, they take the littlest things and they don't understand that relationships aren't easy. You know, you've really got to give... you got to give relationships a chance. So many people are so quick to run away and so quick to say this isn't working and this isn't all that stuff. And, you know, um, you yeah, know. It's, it's like they want like a, a McDonald's or a Burger King type relationship, you know, real yeah, fast, they, quick, looking you know, for want perfection. it their way. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know, always remember that relationships that make it through the worst times are the ones that are going to make it through the longest because no relationship is perfect and it never will be. So I think maybe more open-mindedness and, you know, um, you know, getting out there, you know, meeting people. And you have to want to. Whatever you're going to put uh, at a top priority, you're going to do it. You know, you're going to be proactive and you're going to focus on it and you're going to do it. So it depends on how bad you want something. You know? That makes sense. It really does. Mm, yeah. Now, if you had to offer some advice to the single guys that are out there, mm-hmm. if they're looking to maybe, I mean, maybe they're going to go out this weekend and they're going to talk to some nice you know, lady, mm-hmm. uh, what advice could you give to those guys that might help them along to maybe you know, getting that uh, dream lady that they've always mm-hmm. been wanting? Well, first, I always say... Kindness always wins. Uh, a compliment, something nice, not creepy like. Uh, girls don't like, uh, you know, they don't like pushy people or they don't want like the the one liner. Um, I think it's really just important to, you know, get a good feel that the person, you know, that that there's some type of uh, chemistry there before you're, you know, you're going to go up and get slammed on. Um, but you know, kindness always works. If you can make a lady smile and you can, you know, make her happy in any way, this is this is what most, um, you know, guys and girls they want. They just looking for that genuine type of person that's, you know, nice. So that's good. Now, how about the ladies? If they're going out there with their friends and they want to meet a a, a nice guy, mm-hmm. uh, what what? Where's some of the places you don't want to meet somebody? Is there any place like you don't want to? Like a bar. That's the worst, right? (laughs) Yeah, the bar's the worst. And actually, statistics-wise, even 
It's the very lowest. And, you know, people actually go out and they're like, you know, they get all dolled up and they're, you know, they've got the nice heels on, their miniskirts, and they're going out to the bar and they're going to meet somebody. Yeah, it never works. <laughs> it's crazy because so, only 9% of women and only 2% of men said they, they, they've they actually found, uh, like, a, a good relationship that came from a bar. So right. it's right. It those percentages happen. are low. Yeah. <laughs> You know, more in the real world, this stuff is happening, like at a grocery store and, you know, just at the park, going for a walk. I mean, you are going to walk by people every single day of your life. And you know what? It's really not that hard to say, hi, how are you? Or it's, it seems awkward, but it's very natural, you know, if people just actually stop and take a moment to actually, you know, like if you, if you're sitting there and and you feel this connection with someone in the grocery line and I mean why not turn around and say hi how are you doing you look very nice today I mean honestly if there's a really good connection this lady is going to be smiling from ear to ear and it's simple so I and mean, it's not hard and that's some free advice right there any more than that <laughs> you're going to get charged pals so, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Well, Tiffany, thanks for stopping in with us tonight at Swinging at Shadows Radio. Uh, We appreciate you coming in and helping folks with their relationship issues here and maybe helping them to maybe go out there and maybe talk to somebody and be nice to somebody and maybe establish a nice relationship that could last forever. And if not, if they can't do that, then they can get a hold of you. Yeah, they can get a hold of me, and I'll help them out. Great. Now, (laughs) To, to contact you, or, or where would you want these people to go? Um, they can sign up on my website, and that is affinityconnections.com. I'm also all over social media, from Google Plus to Pinterest to Twitter to Facebook. Um, my Twitter is Match Affinity, and uh, my pages are Affinity Connections. Wow. Well, I'm excited for everybody mm-hmm. out there especially all those single people, all that those 44% of Americans who haven't found a, a, a lasting relationship. So, Tiffany, thanks for coming on. And always listen to us right here on DTM Wicked Radio, Swinging at Shadows. I'm Will Scoville. It's time to leave, everybody. Have a great weekend. Every Friday night, we're here on DTM, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Time 8 p.m. Central Time. And I think it's like, like what is it? Uh, I don't even know what it is. Pacific time, Tiffany. I mean, you'd have to help me out. It's like two hours difference, right, for me? Uh, yes, I believe so. Thank you, Tiffany, for coming on. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll see you. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah.